Hey guys, it's Dilo. So I'm back with another video, and uh, here's the thing. I was coming back, uh, uh, back from doing business uh, earlier, and I was told about this situation thanks to my uh, my mother. She brought this to my attention. I would never known this was going on. So when she uh, Brought this to me. I'm like, uh, I'm like, really? I didn't even know this was going on. Cause y'all know, y'all who been part of my channel, like, you know what I pretty much keep up with stuff like this with this uh fill up machine. So I found this article months ago a more uh uh recent article. This came out today, so FDA issue a warning about Dream Station 2 CPAP machine. So, Philip Whispertor reported 270 incidents of the thermal issues. Which means, y'all, these Philip machines uh, have, have a, uh, they basically, y'all, can catch on fire. So the Food and Drug the Food and Drug Administration issued a new warning for users certain CPAP machine that the latest in a series of trouble for Philip Westbrook, one of the leading manufacturers of the breathing device, can help people with a sleep apnea. Well, that, they well, that's certainly not true. That's certainly not the case, especially with going with new machines lately. And for the past numerous of years so the fda issue alert for user with the uh, fill up dream station 2 signal and increase of uh, in reports that the device can overheat and can cause smoke fire and burn like the people who use this machine ain't had no worry about when they had to recall them back for the uh, gas for thing that the uh, patient was uh, inhaling now you got this right here you know, these people are be shamed. They shall put, 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 put people through all this mess. So it go on to talk about this little section, as you can see, about when this first got started. So I'm going to just skip that part. But they're basically talking about uh, when that machine first got recorded in that little section. But I'm going to go down here and read this right here. Between August... And November 15 filled a report of the FDA more than 270 incidents of the thermal issue with the Dream Station 2. While the situation is developing, the problem may be related to electric or mechanic malfunction that has caused some of the machine to overheat the FDA said. Okay, let's call this what it is. That whole machine is malfunction. The whole machine is defect. This whole scene became uh, defective when they had to call it back for people inhaling that, inhaling that uh, dangerous gas structure that they had to originally uh, call that machine back. So, let's be real, this, this, this machine been defective for a while now. This machine didn't start being defective. It been defective for a while. And according to other author I, uh, author I did once, once before, um, this same company, Philip, made a great effort in covering all the complaints that have gone their machine for the past little over decade. They lose, they, they, they knew for the past 11 years specifically that they had a problem with their machine, but yet still selling it anyway. And just for that fact alone, these people need to be penalized for that. Anyway, let's move on. In a statement, Phillips said a number of prior of patient safety and quality and the device can continue to be used providing the safety and structure are followed. The FDA advised users to inspect, examine their machine for unusual smell or change in appearance before after each use. Notice some of the issue may only arise when the machine is running. Be careful to pay attention before falling asleep 
and unplug the machine if there are any unusual smell and sound coming from the device. If the patient who used the machine have to do all that, first of all, if they turn them, if, they, if the patient had to turn them machine on, they turn them machine on because they back because they they tired and they went to sleep. Who who gonna naturally pay pay attention to uh, unusual noise or uh, unusual noise or smell like you talking about if they uh basically uh sleep? Cause no, when somebody used their machine, they basically get with fall asleep. I don't know what's wrong with these people. But I, I, I can't stand stuff like this because I, I really can't. Okay, so let me go down this a little bit. So, that was it. But uh, no, it's not it. There's a video that comes up. I'm going um, to uh, let y'all listen to. But. Y'all got to tell me what y'all think about the situation. Let me play this video for y'all right quick. Well, that's right. The Food and Drug Administration is issuing this alert for users of the Philips Dream Station 2, saying that it's received an uptick in reports that the device can overheat, causing smoke, fire, and burns. It's the latest setback for Philips. In June of 2021, the company issued a recall for millions of its breathing devices over concerns the foam used in these machines could actually be toxic, break down, and be inhaled by users. According to the FDA, the Dream Station 2 uses a different foam and was sent as a replacement device after that recall. But between August and November 15th, Philips reported more than 270 incidents of thermal issues to the FDA dealing with the Dream Station 2. The FDA says while this is a developing situation, the problem may be related to an electrical or mechanical malfunction, which has caused some of the machines to overheat. In a statement, Phillips tells us its number one priority is patient safety and quality and that the devices can continue to be used provided that the safety instructions are followed. Now, the FDA is advising consumers to really inspect the machines of any unusual smells or changes in appearance before and after each use, and also noting that some of the issues may only arise when the machines are on, so make sure you do this before you fall asleep. And of course, unplug the machine if you notice any odd smells or sounds coming from the device. And of course, we will keep monitoring the situation as it develops as well. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4. Y'all want to tell me what y'all think. And these people don't the care. The first time in more than... And these people don't care about the... Uh, uh, these uh, don't care about nobody's safety. I think they don't make that obvious. They, they saying that but let's be weird. They don't care about nobody's safety because they would have did. They wouldn't. Uh, uh, they wouldn't try to uh, hide some of the complaints they've had with their machine for the past eleven years, according to one according to uh, uh, one of these articles I know on or did a video on. If they wouldn't care about public safety, they wouldn't try to hide nothing. No, they don't care about nobody's safety. They, they need. They need to start lying to people. Your actions don't sh don't show uh, people. You don't care about nobody's safety. You don't care about making you don't care about nobody's safety. In my opinion, I come that cooler based off what's what's been happening and what uh y'all have uh done done, done and, and have allegedly done. You don't care about nobody's safety, not with the action that y'all take. Y'all action y'all need to be shaming your dog on self. I don't see how anybody Y'all, you know what? You prove it. In my opinion, this is my personal opinion. Based on what y'all have done so far, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't got no business making no machine. I'm sorry, y'all ain't got no business making no machine. I think a, a, another uh, a company need to come, come, uh, come along and be put in charge and making the machine. Philip, no, I don't think you don't, you don't, you 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 don't deserve at this point. You don't, you don't deserve to sit, sit out here and make no machine, cause you don't you don't you don't call you don't cause way too much damage. You don't cause way too much damage. 
I'll get to me what y'all think about the situation in the comment section, and I'll put the link to this in the description box. And I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.